Today we're going to be going over the process on how to attach a second screen to your Steam Deck using a Deckmate grip and some 3D printed parts we just designed. Start by gathering the materials for the attachment. Basically you'll need the two 3D printed parts, the actual attachment and the brace, as well as two Deckmate attachment clips, complete with the six screws that would typically come with them. We got ours by just ordering the entire system set. Next, screw in the bottom clip. Then, insert the top clip into the slot. You'll want to put it in at an angle to get it just right. Once both are connected, attach it to the Steam Deck itself using the Deckmate grip. Start by placing the brace on top of the Steam Deck, trying to line it up with the holes on the back, and then screw everything in. This is going to be a tight fit that's on purpose to make sure that there's no wiggling going on once everything is fully in place. Now you'll need to set up your mount. Here we have a tablet holder as well as a hinge that we're just screwing together. Then we're going to attach that to our phone adapter using a quarter inch screw. We have a piece that we got from a broken hinge a while back, but any quarter inch screw will work. You might need to use a washer or spacer to make sure that everything fits snugly. Once your mount is attached, go ahead and insert your phone. Now the tricky part here is making sure that everything is balanced. So you'll want to adjust your tablet holder correctly to make sure that the weight is distributed evenly on your phone. Otherwise, things are gonna tilt a little bit. You'll see in this video, I actually didn't quite get it even, so it tilts just slightly. Kind of annoying. Now, you'll want to actually connect everything to send a display out signal to your phone. To do this, I have a string of adapters USB-C to a Genki Shadowcast to an HDMI to USB-C adapter. And then I have an L-shaped adapter to plug right into the Steam Deck. There's a small channel built into the brace itself to give a little bit more room for something like this. And then once everything's connected to the phone itself, I use an app called USB Camera Pro in order to send the display signal to the phone itself. Normally, Android phones, iOS phones, doesn't matter, really can't accept display in signals, but in this case, the app allows me to do it. If you'd like a tutorial on how to set that up, you can go back and check our original DIY monitor setup guide that we posted a while back. Now that everything's set up, just launch whatever emulator or program you want to use across both displays. Again, if you need a tutorial on how to get the gameplay actually working, we have a guide for that. Just go ahead and check the link on the screen and in the description. And with that, everything is set up and ready to use. Some final notes to consider though. When adding my Fold 4 in, it does become very top heavy. I wouldn't recommend laying it flat like I have in the video. I'm only doing that to show you guys in the video itself. Additionally, I don't know the max weight limit for this. 
The full setup that I'm using for the video is around half a pound to one pound. If you try to go above that, there's no guarantee that it's going to be a comfortable experience, especially with it being so top heavy. However, the phone brace is extremely sturdy. So there's a very good likelihood that you could attach even heavier stuff without it being too much of a problem. Just remember, anytime that you put something on it, it is actually applying pressure to the Steam Deck itself. Okay, so you're all set up and ready to go. If you had any issues whatsoever, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, catch you later.